Hi, this is Stuka Dave. Long ago, I made a build video about the Delta Dart. It was popular, distributed on VHS tape cassettes. But now it's time to make an updated version. So here is... Yeah, I don't know if I can live up to that music. Well, it seems you have a Delta Dart kit. Now, all you have to do is envision it really want it, manifest it, and now nah, it's not really going to work. But since we do have all the stuff here, we have the propeller, we have the sticks, we have the motor stick, we have the rubber motor, we have the covering plans sheet, and we have the instructions, and we have sandpaper, masking tape, super glue, accelerator, glue stick, and a sharp razor blade. We might as well just put the thing together. So, I built an awful lot of these, and I'm going to show you my technique for doing it. First, as always, we take the instruction sheet, all the detailed information on how to build this, and we wad it up and throw it away, because that's how we roll. You're going to take this plan sheet and put it upside down. This is going to be the covering of the model. So, if you do it upside down, you're going to be able to have the, the writing right side up on the plane when it's finished. Uh, that's all right. It'll be fine. We'll get away with it. You'll see. You'll see. Tape down the corners. You can use a piece of cardboard to build on, a piece of ceiling tile, or just anything that uh, can, can be cut against and not be hurt. I'm going to build it on this green special modeling sheet thing because I like it. We're going to build the structure of the plane first using these small sticks. And you can see the outline of the plane, the, the stabilizer, the main wing, and the rudder. And then the motor stick forms the bottom part of the rudder. So there's going to be a couple of spots in here where I'm going to have you do dirty tricks. And here's dirty trick number one. Put a cut through there. Trust me, this will come in handy later. Cut the pieces to match and stick them down to this. And the first piece is going to be the motor stick. So you rub glue stick, regular old glue stick, on it and there see and we're we're heading for town already now this piece is the next piece to go on cut it like that and cut it like that here's dirty trick number two they have you cutting these blunt and folding the paper over we're going to do it different we're going to cut the pieces so they go all the way out to make a sharp point not blunt with the paper folded over but tight fitting sharp joints there with the sticks right next to each other It'll be very strong that way. And you run the glue stick up it, get plenty of glue on there, then flip it back over where it was. If you make them so that they don't touch each other, you will have in-flight structural failure, and the passengers will scream, and there'll be an investigation, and you might lose your pilot's license. We don't want any of that. And you can see you get a piece left over, so we'll use it for one of these wing braces. That way we won't, we won't waste any balsa. Because, hey, that balsa wood doesn't grow on trees, you know. So, the Delta Dart model was designed by Frank Elling, a genius. And it was introduced in 1966. And they say that there have been more Delta Darts produced than any other type of model airplane. And it's a quite a good model. And if you build it right, it'll fly exceptionally well. Now here, again, when we get to this wing tip... We're not going to cut it blunt like that. We're going to bring it all the way out to the tip. And that makes a very strong joint. I'm not a patient guy, but I build model airplanes because they don't take patience. It's fun to build them. So it's not like it's a drudgery that you're hoping it's over. It's a, a little sad when you finish it because that part of the fun is over. Although flying it is a lot of fun too. You want a fresh glue stick. When they start getting a little old, I, I throw them away because they're inexpensive. But a fresh one just works a lot better. Now I'm going to get really fancy. Watch this. I'm going to glue stick it up in the air, and then I'm going to stick it down onto there, and then I'm going to trim it. Whoa, boy. And that is it for the structural part of the Delta Dart. I use just regular super glue. This is the kind of thick kind that doesn't dry instantaneously. And I'm going to put a drop on almost all of the joints on the plane. But I'm going to skip this middle one. Oh, I skipped a stick. I forgot a stick. Oh, no. Now, accelerator usually comes in a spray bottle like this, but I use mine in a drip bottle. 
because it's much less wasteful and it doesn't stink up the room. One drop on each of those, and then they are cured, and that's that. And now we're going to take our sharp razor and we're going to cut these free. When you just gently run it around the outside of this, and you only need as much force as it takes to cut that one thickness of paper. This is why you don't do this on the dining room table. And so having cut it free from the paper, you have, here's the elevator, ready to go. Remember that slit that we made down through the paper? Well, now we need it, see? So when we go to lift this free, aha, that cut really came in handy, didn't it? Okay, and now the wing. If you have a little paper stuck to it that didn't quite get cut cleanly, you can take your uh, sandpaper and just gently go like that and clean up the little bits that need it. Now bend the wing to put the dihedral angle in before you glue it. Eyeball it, and I put my drop of glue Four and F. Here comes my dripper bottle. One drip there, one drip there. And you have to wait a long time for, okay, it's dry. Now it's time to put the tail on. Oh, oh by the way, put the tail on upside down. Trust me, it's a, an a obscure aerodynamic reason. If you put that on, it will give too much up elevator. So we're gonna shim it down a little bit. I put a drop of glue on the tail here, and then I put the stick onto that. Of course, we don't need that much shim. So I'm gonna eyeball just under an eighth of an inch. And we end up with a little shim there. Now you put a drop of glue on the middle back of that and a drop of glue on the front and then I put some more accelerator on this end. It dries almost instantly. If you put it back touching the the rudder that usually balances right and we'll put some glue on the wing and again you can eyeball this to get it straight. Now before we put the the prop on the front, you need a straight pin to be the rear motor hook. And this is a chance to poke yourself in the finger. You put this just a little bit ahead of the elevator at an angle and you push it in to the motor stick. Then if you put a drop of glue on the base of it and then you hit it with the accelerator and it'll hold that pin and the pin's going to hold the back end of the, of the rubber band motor, which is a, a good handy thing to have it do. But the prop assembly goes on the front with the hook on the bottom, of course. Now for the motor, you're going to take the two ends and hold them parallel. And then you're going to tie an overhand knot, one knot, and just work it down till it's really tight and good, and it'll do the trick. The knot always goes in the back. I think we're ready to fly. One row of knots is a test flight. Keep going and it'll go double rows. That's a regular flight. And three rows of knots is usually a broken motor. But look at how long a motor run You'll get just on that one row, you get a really nice, good motor run. And there is how to build the Delta Dart. You know, that looks pretty good. Let's try the music again.